Now then YouTube, I am the Toffman and welcome back to episode 15 of my Moon Quest Let's Play. We're doing very, very well so far. We've managed to touch on quite a few different mods in this series, uh, namely the universal electricity stuff. We've got a whole host, a whole array of machines over here that's going to do the job. We've gone to the moon, but unfortunately we forgot all of our stuff that we needed to do to get back from the moon, so we got ourselves stranded there. What I'd like to do, guys, is instead of just rushing to get back to the moon again, I want to get a few things sorted and a few bits of the infrastructure left to get sorted here and get a ton of resources before I move on onto different worlds so that I've got nothing to worry about, nothing to fear uh, from going over there. As long as I've got enough stuff, I'll be able to get there. But at the moment, guys, we're looking a bit low on quite a few of these things. Namely, iron. We haven't got much iron. I mean, yes, we've got some iron ore there. But, guys, we want power. Power is the main thing for me at the moment that I'm really, really lacking on. So I could get a load more heat generators, but I've got something in mind, guys, that I want to do. It involves atomic science. It's going to be our first foray, our first adventures into uh, atomic science. And the first thing I want to be able to create today is the chemical extractor this thing is from uh, atomic science and uh, it's going to require a few things we're going to need bronze ingots either blocks of iron or steel plates i'm going to go for steel plates we need redstone comparators uh, which i'm going to need some nether quartz for i've got tons of that stuff so i don't need to worry about that um we're going to need two pistons, first and foremost, though. So why don't I craft myself up these items here? You've seen me craft all these before, apart from this one, but I'm going to go ahead and craft that, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we've got all the stuff that we need to do. Uh, we need to have to uh, to craft this chemical extractor. Now, be careful what you make, because I made these compressed steels, and I actually need steel plates. You've still got, at the moment, there is this recipe conflict, and I had to go in and manually add a recipe in for to make these steel plates. But you can still make them with paper stacks. Makes no sense, and uh, I'd, I really don't know why it's there. But uh, we can go ahead and create our first atomic science machine, the chemical extractor. Now, I'm going to plonk this thing right there, and I'm going to go ahead and get my universal cable. More power, guys. It's just tons, tons of power that's going to be used here. Um, let's go ahead and plonk that in there. Uh, the the thing is that we've got to be very very careful. I don't. There's a bug somewhere along the line. I don't know if it was with aluminium or what. But uh, the TPS that's at 20. We're okay for the moment then. So this thing, this also requires water. Um, so I mean it's a good job we've got that pipe at the back there. But we haven't got much in the way of golden fluid pipe left. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get a little bit more in the way of, uh, of, of green 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 stuff. Green cactus green, that's the one. There's eight cactus green. Let's go ahead and go do that and make some more fluid pipes. I'm actually expecting something for a change this time. There we are. We should have enough now to be able to hook this chemical extractor up to, uh, to my stuff. So, let's go around the side here. Um, the chemical extractor is right there. Hmm, you know what? I think I might move that chemical extractor just to make it a little bit easier for us. Um, let's get that up there. And I think I might move it back so it's on top of this cable rather than this cable being here. Uh, and move that cable and move the other cable as well while I'm here. I may as well. Oh dear. There goes my uh, my pick. I'm going to have to make another one. Not a problem. Like I said... At some stage, guys, I really want to get some enchantments going, but I haven't got uh, uh, enough sugarcane at the moment. I did. I've got a small sugarcane farm going, but I haven't had much chance to uh, to tend the sugarcane uh, sugar farm at the moment. So let's grab that. Brilliant. Right. So let's plunk that on there, and now we'll be able to get through it round the back here. As you can see, there's my sugarcane farm. So I want to go from here through there. There we are, look. It is there. I can promise you guys that it is there. If I went and put a block down there, it just takes a block update. Alright, so that's going to be filling up with water quite nicely. And power as well. Brilliant. Apparently it's doing something. I don't know what it's doing. Why is it... I'm confused. The progress bar is going when it shouldn't be. It might require an update to... Uh, to Atomic science or mechanism or whatever. I don't know why that is good. That shouldn't be going guys Let's have a look at the TPS 
Not too bad still, not too bad. And basically what you can do with this is uranium um, can go inside this chemical extractor. It starts off in here and it turns itself into deuter deuterium. Uh, I think it oh, does it. Does it? I don't know what it does. Uh, now this one, I think it will automatically output, or at least I hope it will. So let's put the uranium in there. There we are, look, yellow cake is what it creates. Good stuff. And the next machine that we want to be able to craft ourselves is a nuclear boiler. Sounds dangerous, because it is. It's nuclear. Nuclear boiler then. Uh, we're going to need more steel plates, tons more steel. Two more furnaces, uh, a bucket and a piston. We've got, we've got plenty of buckets. The, the thing I'm worried about though is, uh, is steel at the moment. But we seem to have, be alright there. Good. Good stuff. There's the uh, the steel. Uh, two more furnaces. Let's go and grab them. Nice. Two more furnaces. We need another piston. Luckily, I think we should have enough stuff in our inventory here to craft one. We do. And a bucket. Do we have? A, we do have a bucket in our inventory. Good stuff. So we should be able to go ahead and craft the nuclear boiler now. Right, so, the nuclear boiler, let's plonk that down right here. This thing, I could swear this could, like, output. Oh, whoa, 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 put that yellow cake back. No, 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 get rid of it, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to require something else. I've got radiation for the next god knows how many minutes. Uh, quick, food, before I die of radiation. No, don't do it to me. Stay alive. 22 seconds of radiation. I'll stand in the middle of here because I'm probably going to die. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Eight seconds remaining of... I think we've, we'll, be, we'll be okay. I think we will. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, it's gone now. Right, good. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the the next thing we'll need then is a hazmat suit. Um, we need lots and lots of wool for this. Lots and lots of wool. Five pieces of wool per equipment, so we need 12, uh, 20 wool. How much wool have we got? Five. I've got five wool. Luckily, though, we've got plenty of sheep down there that we can go ahead and uh, and snip away at. So, where's my, uh, where's my shears gone? Where did I put my shears? Did I put them in here? I may have done. I had some shears on me. I know I had some shears. I haven't lost them what, for whatever reason, have I? I had some shears. I know I had some shears. Oh, let's go to sleep uh, and make myself some more, I suppose. I had some shears. I had like kept them on myself all the time at all times maybe I've put them somewhere I just don't know where I've put them it's probably the case usually is right let's go and make some more then she is good stuff right let's go and get some sheep and hopefully we get 20 pieces of wool and then uh, we can uh, we can carry on with what we were gonna do I'm gonna say that's not a nasty in there with it is it no 15 wool is what I'm looking for. I got 10. So we're not quite there yet. Move out of the way, please, sheep. Thank you. We're not quite there yet. Let's grab this sugar cane while we're here. And uh, go ahead and... I'll sort them out between episodes, actually. Because I, I, I'm going to work towards an enchantment table. I've told you guys this before. Work towards an enchantment table, and then uh, we'll be okay then. And plus, we're getting food as well, which is good. Uh, so, yellow cake, which uh, actually is creating deuterium. And I think what we need to do is put uh, some cells in here to be able to collect that deuterium up. So, uh, what do we want to do? I, I want to create. I want to start creating this hazmat suit. So we've got ten. I've got fifteen in total. Should be enough. Right, we need some redstone torches. We've got some redstone. We just need this, this. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves some stuff. 
I'm gonna need leather. Oh no. I'm gonna need leather. That's not what I want. Right, we should have enough to craft ourselves some hazmat boots. No? We're not? Redstone torch. Leather boots. Yes, hazmat boots. So there's one done. Um, unfortunately, we're going to need uh, leather everything. We're going to need leather everything. Can we make leather in this pack? Let's have a look. No, that's the wrong button, tough man. We can smell rotten flesh. Pretty obvious. Right, so we've got, we've got plenty of leather then. Oh, we're going to have plenty of leather. Let's plonk this into here. Brilliant. And get tons and tons of leather so we can craft ourselves some hazmat leggings. And uh, by the time we've, we've fully equipped ourselves, I will be right back once we've got all this stuff. You don't really need to see me crafting the whole lot of this. I'll go ahead and do this off camera just to save a bit of time in this episode and then we'll move on. Okay guys, I'm on my last piece of equipment now. Leather tunic there, we want the redstone torch there, and I went and sheared the sheep again, and they give me some quite lovely wool here. Okay, we've got the full hazmat suit now, so let's take all of our armor off and put all of this on, because that's what we're going to need. I also went and killed a couple of cows because I'm quite hungry, and I'm getting sick of eating uh, uh, cookies because they're just not lasting long enough. So, okay, so now we should be able to pick up this yellow cake with absolutely no problems. No radiation at all. We are taking durability on our stuff though, so be careful of that. Um, and let's go ahead and plonk that into uh, into here. Is that where it goes? Right, okay, this needs water as well. Well, luckily for us, we, we're fine with that. We can do that. There it is, sorted. And uh, there we are, the water's going in. The yellow cake's in. We've got no power apparently coming towards this. It doesn't surprise me though, because we've run out, literally run out of power anyway. The chemical extractor is taking all of the power, um, and it does take a lot. Look at that, 100 kilowatts of power, the chemical extractor, so no wonder we've run out of power. The nuclear boiler is working though. The yellow cake is moving slowly through. Um, yeah, there we are. What's it going to create? What is it going to create? It's going to create... Da, 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 da. Uranium hexafluoride. Now this hexafluoride can then be pumped into a centrifuge. That's our next piece of equipment that we need to go and make. This centrifuge. We're going to need another couple of steel plates, another couple of pistons. I've crafted enough of these to last me a lifetime. You've seen enough of me uh, crafting these to last a lifetime. I'll be right back. Okay, we should have enough now to create the uh, the centrifuge here. Um, oh, moving on. No, I'm sure we do. Let me just have a look here. Steel plates at the top here. Bronze on the outsides. And what else was it? Something else. Ah, the redstone repeat. That's what I was missing, was it? Well, luckily we do so happen to have one of them, so that's not a problem. Uh, the centrifuge. Good stuff. That's the last one. The last machine in the line of making uh, stuff for atomic science. The centrifuge, oh, and it actually automatically output right there from this into the centrifuge. The centrifuge is gaining the power as well. It's going to create uh, some stuff. Uranium hexafluoride, brilliant. Now, the reason why, you can just go straight for the nuclear boiler and put your uranium in here instead of this yellow cake. But doing it this way, you get a lot more stuff. Uh, so it, it's best to do it this way. So uranium hexafluoride into there. We need cells, though. We need... Cells. We need empty cells. These buggers. So we need tin around a piece of glass. So we get 16 cells for that. That's quite a lot, that. It's quite a lot of stuff. Uh, but we've got enough tin. Oh, we should have enough tin. Yeah, we do. We have plenty of tin there. Let's go and put a sand in there. Get some glass. Create enough of these cells to create some stuff. And then we can start working on getting a nuclear... Well, this power... From, uh, from from Atomic Science, and I'll tell you something, once we've got this power going, we won't need any other power, I can tell you that. We won't need any other power. Good stuff. Plenty of cells there. Plenty of them. Now, I believe, if I'm right in doing this, we can go ahead and plop, plop some, uh, some in there. Do we? I'll put some in there. Do something with this deuterium, and I can't remember what it was. Um, so, 
Do we put that in there? No, we don't put it in there, do we? We put it into the boiler. There, maybe. How do we sell you light this back up? <laughs> Apparently we get no water, we don't no thing from this. Do, really, you can What do we do with this hexafluoride? I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I could swear that this is how you do it. Maybe I put that in there and just wait for it to to put it into the empty cells, maybe? I could swear that this is how you did it. Oh, this makes breeding uranium. And I think it also makes uranium, if I'm right in saying that. Now, I think that you can actually put the cells in there, but I think it's for... You, you put the cells in here, and it will pick up the uranium hexafluoride, then you can move that over to here. Uh, is, is that how it works? Maybe if I put that in there, put the empty cells in there, it's making deuterium and yellow cake. But why is it not picking up my deuterium? How can I get the deuterium out of that? Maybe right click on it? No? I don't know. I really don't know guys. I'm, I'm at a loss for that one. It's getting dark. I'm going to have to have a look into that, I think. Sleep a bit. Make sure the ticks is going okay. Yep, we're doing absolutely fine for ticks per second. So some good news, I suppose. Right, let's eat some food. Oh, see, cookies, no, no on cookies, these buggers. Right, empty cells. What do we do with you? I'm sure that we put you in there. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I'll have to have a look in, into it between episodes. The yellow cake's going along quite nicely there. Um, it's not creating any more yellow cakes. We don't have any. So, I think, is he actually sucking that power up? Hang on a minute. Are we making deuterium when there's absolute, there's no input? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Whoa, that is a serious bug. That is a serious bug, guys. I'm going to have to sort that out. That is a serious, serious bug. It's just... It, it's acting like there's already something there. I wonder if it does it the same for uh, the whole lot. Oh, nearly crafted another one. Oi, breeding uranium. It's meant to give me, though. It's meant to give me some stuff. Unless I've got totally wrong version of it. I don't know, guys. I'm going to have to cut that... I'm going to have to cut this here and f figure out what the hell's going on with these three, uh, these three machines here and see what's going wrong. So, I'm afraid this is a, a shorter episode than usual, but uh, it's uh, uh, nothing I can do about it, guys. I want to see what's going on with this. So, until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.